So, I'm, I, I, I'm back. Yo, what is up guys? It is Splash the Dreamer here, and I know I changed my name a lot, but this is a name I'm going to be permanently sticking with, so I hope you guys like it. So I know I've been gone for quite a while on YouTube. So I know I've been gone for quite a while on YouTube. <laughs> But I do want to return because I know a lot of you guys still comment on my videos and I've been gaining like subscribers over the past four months who have not been uploading. So it's clear that you guys like the videos I've been making and I'm sorry that I stopped. I've just been so busy with school and just like, you know, quarantine is all weird. And also YouTube has been copywriting my reaction videos a lot and they've been blocking it so that you guys can't see it, which is really annoying. So I'm going to be stopping, stop doing reaction videos but still do music videos, if that makes sense. So what I'm gonna be doing on this channel is doing more tutorials. Like this video is a tutorial right now on how to mix and master a song in FL Studio 20, but I'm also gonna be doing covers of popular songs. And I'm gonna be also doing stuff like how to sound like Lil Skies and just kind of like making a song like Lil Mosey, stuff like that. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 330 subscribers, so any help would be Appreciate it, leave a like and comment down below, and yeah guys, enjoy the video. Alright guys, so I'm in FL Studio 20, and basically I'm going to be showing you all the settings I used to make this song. Now I know it's not that great a performance by me, I'm still learning how to sing and all that stuff, but this will give you an idea of how your vocals should sound like by the end of this tutorial, and yeah, so... We'll put, put, you just have to put, put that, that, and, and then, then, yeah. yeah. I've been losing my mind, trying to figure it out But I'm stuck in a drought, I guess I'll start again I've been losing my mind, trying to figure it out But I'm stuck in this house, I am my only friend Lately I know I've been a punk Alright, right, so yeah, that's how it sound I'll need to take this, all the effects off my voice And yeah, that's how you should sound by the end of this tutorial Now if you want the full FLP So you don't need to copy the settings and do all sorts of stuff like that You just want to have this basically this project file, you do need to pay $8 because me and my friend worked on it, and yeah. So if you want the FLP, DM me, comment down below, just message me on anywhere you want, and we'll I'll set that up for you. Just pay, give me $8 in PayPal, and I'll send you the FLP, and yeah. So the first effect in this vocal chain is a limiter, and basically this means that no background noise will get into your recording. So, this doesn't really do a lot, but it's definitely noticeable. And next, so I'll just turn this off and see if you can hear anything. It out, but I'm stuck in a drought. So, so yeah, you'll see, see it. When, when it's, it's off, off, it causes, it causes a lot of distortion and stuff like that. And auto-tune, I don't really know if I should explain it, but I might make a future video on it. But yeah, auto-tune is just kind of auto-tune. It makes your voice all robotic-y and stuff like that. If you guys want me to make a full video on auto-tune, then make sure to let me know, and I'll probably do that soon. And so next we have an EQ, and this is basically just to get rid of all the bad frequencies that your mic picks up. So I have two of them, so I'll show you them. So this is the first one. I boosted the highs a little bit and boosted the mids. And then this one, I cut off all the bass pretty much and boosted the highs a little bit too. And then a Maximus. I'm not, I think this is a compressor, something like that. I'm not too sure, but this is what it sounds like without the, the Maximus. I've been losing my mind, trying to figure it out. But I'm stuck in a drought, I guess I'll start again. I yeah, yeah, so that all, so yeah, that's the kind, kind of like a, a limiter. limiter. I would say it makes sure it. So it gets rid of a lot of distortion, and I'll show you what it sounds like without the EQs as well. Mind trying to figure it out, but I'm stuck in a drought. I guess I'll start again. Yeah, yeah so, so you see, it causes, causes a lot. there's a lot less bass when I have these on, and it kind of gets rid of all the muddiness that your mic picks up. And so next, we obviously have a compressor, and so I'll show you what it's, you know, this. Yeah, these are the settings I have for my compressor. I'll just let you pause it, it'll take a minute. 
And so yeah, this is what it sounds like without the compressor, compressor on. I've been losing my mind, trying to figure it out, but I'm stuck in a drought, I guess I'll start again. Yeah, so, so, all so the maximus, the limiter, the compressor kind of takes away all the distortion in your voice. If your mic is peaking, kind of makes the level all normal and doesn't cause any distor distortion or peaking. And Soundgadizer, this is a really good plugin that is a really good stock plugin. It kind of beefs up your voice a little bit. So I'll show you what I mean. So. so I've been losing my mind, trying to figure it out, but I'm stuck in a drought. I guess I'll start again. Yeah, yeah so it kind of kind of adds like, like flavor. I guess I would say it's kind of like adding spices, like a bland chicken or something like that. So yeah, Soundgadizer is really good. And the next one I have is a Fruity Reverb 2. And these are just the settings. And they kind of adds like an echo-ish to your voice. And I'll show you what it is without Fruity Reverb. In my mind, trying to figure it out. But I'm stuck in a drought. I guess I'll start again. So yeah, so yeah that's, that's kind of kind of, kind of like dry, dry, I would I say. So if you put it back on, it sounds like this. Trying to figure it out. But I'm stuck in a drought. It kind of adds an atmosphere, I would say. So yeah, this is pretty much all of my settings that I have on my vocal chain. And if you guys want me to make more videos on FL Studio, how to route stuff, what certain effects do, leveling, mixing, all sorts of stuff like that, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe, because I'm going to make a lot more videos like that. And yeah.